Good day! Once again, I'm Teacher Fritchie and here is our mathematics for grade 5. The previous day, you have learned about adding fractions. Today, we will learn or we will study about subtracting fractions. But before that, let us first review. So, similar fractions. Similar fractions are fractions that have the same denominators. And the dissimilar fractions are fractions that have different denominators. So, let's try to subtract. Now, if you remember, the similar fractions are the easiest to solve. So, let us have 43 over 50 minus 39 over 50. Alright, so let's subtract. 43 over 50 minus 39 over 50. So since these are similar fractions, it's quite easy to subtract. So 49 minus 39 equals 4. Let's copy the denominator 50 since these are similar fractions. So now what we need to do is we just need to convert it to its lowest term. So 4 and 50 can both be divided by number 2. So, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, and 50 divided by 2 equals 25. So, our final answer is 2 over 25. It's easy, right? Now, let's continue. Second example, mixed number minus whole number. So, let's have 12 and 1 third minus Nine. Right, let's divide a whole number from a mixed number. So 12 and 1 third minus 9. It's very easy. So we just need to divide or subtract the whole number. 12 minus 9 equals 3. And since this is a whole number, there's no fraction. You just copy this one. So 1 third. And it is already in its lowest form. So the final answer is 3 and 1 third. All right, for our third example, let's have dissimilar fractions. So let's subtract 3 fourths minus 2 thirds. All right, let's subtract 3 fourths minus 2 thirds. So this is the first solution. So I wrote it down vertically. So 3 fourths, we will convert them into similar fractions. So we have 12. 12 divided by 4 plus 3 times 3 equals 9 and then the denominator 12 and then 12 divided by 3 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 and the denominator 12 and now we can subtract since they are similar fractions so we will only need to subtract the numerators these ones so 9 minus 8 equals 1 and copy the denominator since they are the same. And this one is already in its lowest form. So the final answer is 1 twelfth. Now let's try another way of solving this. So we have 3 fourths minus 1 half or sorry minus 2 third. So we will do cross multiplication. So multiply. We will have 3 times 3 plus 4 times 2. This one's cross multiplication. And multiply the two denominators. 4 times 3. Now we will solve. 3 times 3 equals 9 plus 4 times 2 equals 8 over 4 times 3 equals 12. So 9 plus... Wait, did... Sorry, sorry. Why did I add? It's subtraction. Still the same. Only the operation uh, is wrong. So, 9 minus 8 equals 1 over 12. So, it's the same. The final answer is also 1 12. So, either solutions can be used. Another example. Let's have whole number minus mixed number. So let's have 12 minus 8 and 2 thirds. Right, so we will solve 12 minus 8 and 2 thirds. So what we need to do, since 
12 is a whole number, we will make it into a fraction. So, minus 1, it will be 11. And the 1 that we subtracted will make it into a fraction. So, we will copy the denominator and make it a numerator. So, 3 over 3. So, this is equivalent to 12. Then, minus 8 and 2 thirds equals 11 minus 8 equals 3. 3 minus 2 equals 1 and denominator 3. And this is already in its lowest form. So, the final answer is 3 and 1 third. Now, we will try this using a different way of solving. So, 12 minus 8 and 2 thirds, we will make them into improper fractions. That means the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, 12 will make it into a numerator over 1. Minus, we will multiply this. 3 times 8 equals 24. Plus 2 equals 26. Over, copy the denominator, 3. Now, they are mixed number. And then, we will finally cross multiply. So, we have 12 times 3 minus 1 times 26 over 1 times 3. And then, we will solve. 12 times 3 equals 36 minus 1 times 26 equals 26 over 1 times 3 equals 3. 36 minus 26 equals 10 over 3. And then, since this is an improper fraction, we will change it to lowest term. 10 divided by 3 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. So, 10 minus 9 equals 1 over 3. So, that is the final answer and they are the same. And finally, for our last example, let's have a mixed number minus a mixed number. So, 4 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 2 thirds. Now, for our final example, 4 and 1 fourth minus 2 and 2 thirds. So, we will change this into similar fractions. So, we will copy the whole number. So, we have 4 and then the 4 and 3 will have 12. So, 12 divided by 4 equals 3 times 1 equals 3 over 12 minus, we will copy the whole number. And then 12 divided by 3 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 over 12. So then, we can now subtract. But the problem is, the numerators cannot be subtracted because 3 is lesser than 8. So what will we do? So we will change this part. So subtract 1 from the whole number, it will become 3. And the 1 that we subtracted, we will make it into fraction. So it 1 there will become 12 over 12. That's equivalent to 1. So, we will add this one to our fraction. So, 12 plus 3 equals 15 over 12. So, they are basically the same. This one is the lowest term. Minus 2, 8 over 12. Now, we can subtract. So, 3 minus 2 equals 1. 15 minus 8 equals 7 over 12. And this one now is in its lowest form already. So, the final answer is 1 and 7, 12. So, that is quite long, ain't So, let's remember, answers in solving, well, you solve fractions, should be always in the lowest term. So, if you forgot how to solve for the lowest term, you need to review. So, go back to the previous lessons found in your book and you will find how to solve the lowest terms. I hope that you enjoyed our lesson today and see you next week. Bye!